What's happening everybody? We just got out here on the lake. It's uh, about mid-August now and haven't been fishing too much lately. Actually I've been having some issues with my GoPro which is why you guys haven't heard a whole lot from me but we're gonna be out chasing muskies today and uh, it's kind of uh, bucktail season right now. We're in the thick of it and my buddy Luke from Final Cast Tackle just tied me up some new bucktails. Um, I've got this new one with a gold and silver blade and a pearl and copper skirt i'm kind of excited to try out so i'm going to start out with that lure and then uh, we'll just kind of experiment from there he tied me up about four or five different bucktails so we're going to try that out today and then maybe some top water this evening and uh, stay tuned hopefully we end up getting into some action here today um, and also i will leave a little detailed description for you guys with some information so that you guys can reach out to luke if you guys want to get a hold of some of these bucktails so let's see if we can get a muskie here so this is the new uh, bucktail that luke tied up for me here it's kind of got a silver and gold set of double tens on it and it's got a copper and pearl tinsel skirt on it. i'm kind of excited to toss that it looks like a great color here so i'm gonna start out with that let's get to casting Well, let's go hit a, a new spot. Thinking. Sound good? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go hit a spot that I haven't really fished this year yet, but. It looks like it's had good potential in the past, just judging by the map. So yeah. I'm gonna just turn this around so that I don't have to have you do all the work. Wonderful. Okay, on to the next spot. Spot number one is a bus. So catch one. Alright guys, quick little afternoon update here for you. We've been casting for about two and a half hours now and we haven't seen anything yet. We made a couple bait changes here and hopefully we're rolling into the best part of the day here. It's about five o'clock and we've got about two and a half hours of daylight left. So Hoping that things pick up here in the late afternoon towards evening. Maybe we'll throw on those top waters and get something to go. But until then, we're going to keep casting, so stay tuned. All right, time to go to the the buzzer beater spot. That's where it's gonna happen. You just have to believe. just yet, but have it ready. Man, that was a big fish that jumped over there, like, off to your left there. Yeah, I saw that. Jeez. Oh! 
Oh, I got it. Musky. I got it. Not big, but it is a musky. Oh, actually, actually, that ain't bad. Oh, oh I thought I got off. Oh, oh my god, that was insane. Oh. Right here, this right way. Here. I'm gonna pull this up. Here we go, here we go. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. You're in, you're in. Yes. Yeah! Yes! That's a nice one. Yes! We, we got a musky on the flap tail. There we go. Look at that. You can hold it close. There we go. Nice fish. That's awesome. On the flap tail. Right at the end of the night here, we'll get a quick bump on it. Oh, this is, that's about a 42. Might be the same one I caught a couple weeks ago, honestly. I don't know, that's just an approximation. It looked like it was about 42. I couldn't lay that tape flat, though, against that seat. But she's almost ready to go already. Here we go. All right. Yeah! That's freaking awesome. Heck yeah, we got one on the flap. We got probably about a half hour of daylight left here. And so uh, we might have enough time to get another one. Yeah, let's see if we can do it. All right, awesome. That was awesome. She just kind of came up and slurped it. It wasn't like it was a hard hit or anything. Right, she yeah. just kind of grabbed the back hook on it. Well, and I didn't even hear, I didn't even see it until I like literally just passed it Yeah, out. I saw her, she kind of like uh, swirled came up behind up. it and I saw her like S-curve tail kind of yeah. come up. And then all of a sudden I just felt like a little pull and that was about it. Heck yeah. I told you we would have a chance. I kept, I kept saying, at least, how many times did I say it though? Like, we, oh, yeah. even though it's a slow day, you know, that last right. little sliver of daylight, when that goes, yeah. you know, we might have an opportunity. And that's exactly what happens. It's the only fish that we've seen in like six hours of fishing out here. It's been slow. We haven't even had a follow, but the one that showed itself was the one that ate. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be a wrap on the video for the day. We uh, finally got that one in the boat right at the end of the night. That was the only fish that we saw all evening, so it was quite a grind. Um, we threw bucktails for a good portion of the day and just couldn't really get anything to move. And finally had one come up on that flap tail right at dark and got the deal done. And so sometimes that's just the way it goes, especially on a cold front day like we had today. Um, don't give up hope you know you go the whole day not seeing a fish but oftentimes on a long slow day like that at the end of the night you will get a chance and we did and we were able to capitalize on the one fish that we saw so thanks for joining me guys hope to see you guys next time